Controlling time-based electronic and mechanical system can be efficiently done using the Arduino board. We have taken through this course to explain and demonstrate how timing can be achieved. We stipulated three main topology of achieving timing functions, which includes Passive electronics topology Integrated circuit topology and Microcontroller topology This video covers the last topology which is the microcontroller based topology, where in this case, we are using the ATmega328 chip commonly found in Arduino Uno board. If you have not watched the video of the first and second topology, we recommend that you do so, in order to grasp the basis of timing in these various topology. Back to the Arduino, in achieving timing and switching either on or off any load, which in this case was a simple incandescent bulb. We will need a physical electronics hardware, and a sketch, which we write shortly. We will implement the presented schematics, by first sorting and developing the hardware. After the soldering, the board should look like this. Next, we move to the sketch, we will plug the Arduino board to computer and open the Arduino IDE. We define the pinout used. Moving to the setup function. We set up the pins for which is either input or output pin. The blue pin is the input, and the white pin is the output pin. We set the initial state of the hardware to active. Moving to the loop function, we will be making decision using the if statement. If the switch is pressed, then the Arduino should run the code below. The code below will have the hardware go low and will remain low for 10 seconds and after that it will return high. Completing the sketch, we verify it. Once this is done, we upload to the Arduino board. We will test the system now, connecting the wires and the entire system is indicated from the schematic diagram. Completing the setup, we plug the system to electricity. Here, we have the bulb glowing, and once the button is pressed, the circuit deactivates itself and wait till 10 seconds. This cycle repeats itself, as long as you keep triggering the circuit, using the push button. You can as well, adjust the time, by altering the delay value. Also, you can choose to either on or off a load, and this is dependent on your relay configuration. Leave a comment below, and tell us what you will try to configure. Remember to check the previous topology after now. Finally, check out our Facebook page and join our community, the links, you will find at the video description. Remember to subscribe to our channel, and click the bell icon to get personally notified once we make any upload. See you in the next project.